going on everybody my name is Johnny Bannon and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Trevor Technologies in today's video we're gonna be finishing up domain 1.2 going over deception and disruption technologies it's just gonna be two slide PowerPoints going over things like honey nets honey files honey tokens and then we're gonna go over our quiz questions and then that'll wrap up domain 1.2 summarizing fundamental security concepts so with that being said let's go ahead and get my face out of the way and let's get started Okay, we minimize this. So the first thing we're going to go over, just the key definition of deception and disruption technologies. So deception and disruption technology is a proactive cybersecurity approach that uses deceptive tactics to mislead and disrupt attackers, protecting your critical assets and networks. So just think as anything that's deception or disruption as a technique or a technology or maybe even a physical appliance that you can deploy that's going to lure the attacker away from your production environment. And then you can now learn the TTPs of that attacker. And now you can learn also the preventative measures you have to take if they ever pivot to that, produ to that production network. So key principles, deception technology creates a hostile environment for attackers by luring them into decoy resources and away from real assets. It aids in early threat detection and provides valuable threat intelligence. With this, if you uh, feel confident enough to contain an attacker, you can even create kind of a behavior, a behavioral baseline of that attacker and now integrate that into your machine learning and into your proactive responses. Like if you have a SIME, or a SIME server with SOAR, Secure Orchestration Automation and Response, you can kind of now learn the behavior of that attacker and integrate that into your systems. Some of the benefits, improve threat detection, it enhances your situational awareness and your response capabilities and it's deterrence of attackers and protection of critical assets. So now let's go over the key deception technologies. So the first one I'm going to go over is a honey net. So a honey net is a network of interconnected honey pots and other resources designed to monitor and study attacker behavior comprehensively. So some key characteristics. Honey nets include multiple honey pots and network infrastructure components. They're going to offer a broader attack surface for studying attack attackers behavior. So the main purpose, right, is to gather details and insights into attacker TTPs, that's tactics, techniques, and procedures and activities across an entire network instead of like a singular device as what we'd have with the honeypot. So more of a holistic view of an attacker and how they would conduct their attack, how they pivot, how they also implement persistence and back doors on the network. So that's kind of what you gain with the honey net. You can see down here, my definition is a honeypot network. In the real world, you may hear this, right? Honeypot network, CompTIA, on their exam objectives, it's honey net, okay? And then a honeypot is gonna deliver the same, it has the same goals as a honey net, but it's a single system. Could be a, uh, a single VM that's uh, posing as a web server that's completely vulnerable. Um, it, it, does, it does the exact same thing as a honey net. And then we have a honey file. So in the old security plus exam, this was known as a decoy file. So you may see that maybe not in this exam, but you may see that elsewhere in, in your SOC career, right? In your security operations center career or in your cybersecurity career. So this is just going to be a single file that can be used to discover the whereabouts of an attacker to both your internal and external threats. So a, just a quick example of this, right, would be, you setting up or creating a file that's going to alert you anytime it gets open and you'll title it passwords.doc meant for maybe the account maybe that's meant just for the it team and you see someone from sales or someone from accounting trying to open up that document well that may lead you to believe that they're trying to gather sensitive information that they should not have access to right so now you can kind of discover where your insider threats may be so the key thing about a honey file is once it's opened it has to beacon to you it has to log right it has to log who opened it it has to include the ip address maybe the computer name maybe the username of who opened it and that's the main purpose right okay another term that's not on this powerpoint that uh we do have to talk about is something called a honey token so that's a honey token so a honey token is a piece of information such as a username or token 
that is intentionally created to detect unauthorized access, okay? So the key characteristics. Honey tokens have no legitimate purpose and should never be used under normal circumstance. So it's going to be a it's going to be a legitimate token in the fact that this may be like an X.509 certificate in that format, but it it's not supposed to actually gain you access. It's just supposed to see who's trying to steal tokens on your network and see how they would use it. So they are closely monitored and any access is treated as suspicious. So again, the main purpose, honey tokens are used to detect unauthorized access or insider threats. They can be embedded in various systems, databases, or even documents. You have to generate alerts with this as well, just like that honey file. When someone attempts to steal or use that honey token, you need to have some sort of beaconing set up to alert you when that happens. Okay, so like I said, it's going to be a quick slide. Nothing too deep with these technologies. I mean, it's four main components, and that's all these honeys, right? Honey nets, honey pots, honey files, honey tokens. And you can kind of, within the name, just deduce what the differences would be, right? I kind of did this in order here from like largest to smallest. Again, they all do the same thing. They're just trying to detect threats with the honey net being obviously the most comprehensive and the honey token being the least comprehensive, but still uh, accomplishing the main purpose of a deception technology. Okay, so now let's bring up our quiz. So what I'm going to do now is bring in our practice exam software that's on our website here. If you ever enroll in our self-paced or our live virtual training, you get access to our practice exam software of over a thousand questions. And this is just one of the quizzes for this lesson. So question one, I'm gonna read this aloud, take a little pause, and then answer it yourself, and then play the video again, okay? So question one, what is the primary goal of deception technology in cybersecurity? So I'm going to go with C here to create traps or decoys to mislead and detect attackers. So of all of our questions here, it gives you the explanation and the correct answer, just in case you answered incorrectly. So this explanation says deception and technology involves deploying traps or decoys within a network to mislead attackers and detect unauthorized access or activities. Question two. Which of the following best describes disruption technologies in cybersecurity? So I'm going to go with B, tools designed to interrupt or prevent the normal operation of a cyber threat. So that is the correct answer. Explanation down here. Disruption technologies in cybersecurity are tools and strategies used to interrupt, prevent, or reduce the effectiveness of cyber threats. And for this last question, I'm going to read it aloud and then answer the wrong one, just so you can see how our software works when you answer incorrectly. Which of the following is a key benefit of using deception technology in cybersecurity? So it's going to be C is the correct answer. I'm going to go ahead and answer A, just so you can see what it looks like when you answer incorrectly. So you see this bar comes up red. It gives you the correct answer down here. And the correct answer was C, providing detailed insights into attacker tactics and behavior. So I want to thank you all for viewing. Uh, again, a quick little video just on deception, disruption technologies. Kind of simple, but we do need to know it for the exam. So don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. And if you're in the military, Army, Active Duty, Reserve, or National Guard, Click that link in the description below to see how you can get free training with your 4,000 grand a year that you get in credentialing assistance. We are a vendor on the Army Ignited system, and we can do all your training for free, including voucher, our practice exam software, and live virtual training. Or if your corporation or your unit wants us to come out and do in-person training, click that link in the description below to our website to get in contact with us. We'd love to come out, do training, and bring our, all of our lab resources to your teams and get everyone certified. So again, thank you for viewing and do not forget to like and subscribe.